What's up, sweetie? Hi, it's your host, Sienna Leone, and today we are on a pink carpet, okay? We are at Beverly Wilshire for Unforgettable Evening. This is honoring the Women's Cancer Research Fund. So super, super important. Such a beautiful night, and let's go see who we catch on this pink carpet. This evening, I mean, tell me about it. Tell the viewers at home, what is this about? You know, this is about people who are committed coming together, using their celebrity, using their networks for good. And that's a very wonderful thing. Tonight, Women's Breast Cancer Research yeah. Fund. Tell me about why you're here tonight. I would never not be here unless I really couldn't be here for some reason. But, um, you know, it's so important to show up. And I, my family's plagued with breast cancer. I have countless friends with breast cancer under the age of 40. Um, I have... Uh, it, it just goes on and on and until we can prevent it we can't cure it yet so it's like I mean we can sort of but like if you have very early detection if you don't it's really hard so if we don't keep doing the work and doing the research and doing nights like tonight it's never gonna go away and it has to go away for our children it has to go away. Tell me about receiving this award tonight. This is an incredible honor for an incredible cause. It, this, is, this award is not about us. It is about every single human being in this room who is contributing to the energy to eradicate this dreaded disease. That is why we're here. We're here for everyone else. We're just singing it from the mountaintops. I do know, Cynthia, you are a women's health advocate, so thank you for using your platform. Oh, Tonight, Women's Cancer Research Fund, close to my heart, my mother, I brought her today. She's a cancer survivor, Amazing. breast cancer, so, so yes. close to our heart. So your yes. mom, tell me a little bit about this. She's, my mom is um, on the other side, thank God, but you know, when you're in it with, you know, with a breast cancer, you know, patient, you know, it just feels like, okay, is everything going to be okay? You know, you're like constantly stressed out. And one of the things that I learned going through this breast cancer journey with her is the mental, how it affected her, her uh, mental wellness. Like she just immediately, from the time she got diagnosed, she went right into this dark place of like, oh my God, I'm going to die. Like she just wasn't optimistic. And I found myself, you know, not only going back to Lake Bailey, back to Atlanta to make sure I would you know, take her to her, her appointments, but to just kind of be a cheerleader for her and be like, you got this, Absolutely. this is good, Absolutely. this is gonna, you're gonna be great. And um, I think a lot of times people don't realize what a toll it takes on you mentally. And uh, that's something that I've been talking about a lot and just, you know, just sharing my experience with my mom's breast cancer journey. Sharon Stone tonight, yeah. the Courage Award. Yeah. I mean, I know you guys go way back, but tell me why you think she's the perfect person for this award. Sharon is fearless. She's a champion. There's no voice louder than hers. She uses it for good. She has an energy and a passion that is unparalleled. I think her work for Amphar is just unspeakable. I mean, what she's done. And I think for her to be here tonight, I mean, you know, she's loud and in a good way and for good reason. And she's incredibly beautiful and she she clearly has a heart. What a blessing your mother is alive and on the other side. We are so lucky, but you know, for young women like me, I think it's super important to realize, you know, it's so important to get on top of it yes. early. So yes. any advice for young women and you know, with breast cancer, any advice you could give us? Close care to your diet. It sounds like everything your mom told you, but it's true. Uh, lower inflammatory diets, following your nutrition. Vitamin D is well researched and there are other nutrients that are very well researched. Believe it or not, exercise and fitness is critical. It is like an elixir to your immune system and the surveillance for cancer cells. So your fitness, what you put in your mouth, and then how you engage in your relationships in your community, your spiritual health, critical. So you put a little bit of all of those together, and you're healthy. Well, just women in general, make sure you get your yearly, your annual mammograms. That's how my mom detected her cancer. And uh, it's something that I try to stay on top of. I have a very busy life and schedule, but as I you know, get older, I just turned 56. Health has definitely been a big focus and a priority for me now. And I, it's really important to me 
to use my platform to really just keep those conversations going and, and encourage women to take care of themselves. I find that a lot of women, especially entrepreneurs, we kind of like just get so caught up in work that we kind of put our health, you know, to the side. And it's, it's you know, you can't work if you are not well. All right, you guys, that is it on the pink carpet. We're about to go in and celebrate a very, very important cause. But that's it. I will catch you guys on the next one.